Oh. Welcome to day five, I guess. Oh, more of this. It's a few minutes to seven in the morning, which is not a time anyone should ever wake up, especially me. I couldn't really sleep well last night. Went to bed around two-ish. Um, I think I got like four hours sleep, but it was a tossing and turning, waking up every couple of minutes. And I got to the point where I just couldn't sleep anymore, so now I'm awake. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna have coffee, but not caffeine coffee, in the hopes that I could take a nap or something. Uh, I don't feel that terrible. Like, I'm a little stuffy, I have a little bit of scratchy throat, but I don't feel that terrible. I mainly just feel tired. Uh, and I was hoping that eight hours of sleep, and I was mainly just hoping the eight hours of sleep would kind of fix me up, but uh, if experience teaches me anything, being up for a little while makes me feel better. I'll have a bowl of cereal and some decaf coffee and see where we're at. This day continues to be awesome. Uh, I put about an hour of work in, and I lost about a half hour of it, maybe more. Uh, it's super frustrating, um, and I don't even know how I did it. Sometimes it's my fault. You know, you're not saving for a while, your computer crashes, maybe your cat steps on the button. I don't know what happened here. I'd finished up one panel, and I was inking the last panel on the page. And I had gotten to the point where it was almost done. I'd done the two main characters, most of the foreground. I had a little bit of background inking to do. And I thought, oh man, I haven't saved in a while. I better save. So I was doing the right thing. And I hit save or so I thought, and then went back, and I work in a Cintiq, and there's like these touch pads on the back that sometimes, you know, oops, I accidentally zoomed in or something, and I'm guessing I hit some button on the monitor that I don't normally use, or I, I don't know how I did it, but Photoshop closed. I'm like, oh, that's weird, I didn't mean, and it wasn't like, hey, we're gonna close, would you like to save, or hey, we're gonna close, are you sure, or anything like that, it was just like, closed, and I'm like, well, that's weird, but I did just save, so that's fine, but when I opened up the most recent file, Nope, it was the last one. All the work I had just done on that new panel was gone. I'm gonna like do some forensic digging to make sure I'm not, it, it doesn't still exist somewhere, but I don't think it does and I'm pretty annoyed, so yeah. A cup of coffee, decided to go with caffeine to just, you know, I'm awake now. And often when I'm making a cup of coffee, it takes a second, so I'll just pick up a bass or a guitar and plunk around on it for 30 seconds a minute. And I picked up the bass and the bottom strap just came undone and it fell right at my foot. Really hurt, didn't break my toes or anything, but it. Just continuing the goodness. Good, good, good. Ugh. All right, I'm about two hours in, which means I've got about seven hours left. Why? Because I had about an hour of overtime that I need to get into. Uh, I just got done redoing all the work I had just done on that panel, and page eight is now finished inked. I'm gonna go in with the grays, and then whoa, the next page, page nine. You know, it occurs to me that uh, this challenge was to do 40 hours and or five pages, and I don't think I've done five pages, but I haven't been counting either, so. Maybe after this, I will count and see if by some miracle I'm done, which I don't think I am. But I, yeah, I don't feel amazing. Uh, it's, yeah, I, I was I was just talking to Q, like, I'm a little stuffy, I'm a little sore throaty, but really I'm just tired and achy, and like, it's killing me that I couldn't get a good night's sleep. Like, I really feel like if I had slept eight hours, I'd be totally fine, or at least mostly fine, because it's just the tired that's killing me. But anyway, I'm doing it. I'm doing the challenge. I'm about four hours in, uh, which, it's about 12 o'clock, which is insane. Um, you know, getting up early, get more productive work done. Probably doesn't apply when you haven't slept and are sick. But regardless, that is what's happening. Uh, I'm almost done with the grays on this page. I got one panel left uh, to go. I'm going to go feed my cats, because normally I get up around now, so it's our breakfast, and then I will be back at it. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to be done by four. If I'm not, I'll have to take a break and come back to it, because I need to actually, I sold a print, and I need to go send, I actually sold it a day or two ago, so I gotta get on that. Send it out to the post office, and I gotta check on my friend's cat again. Um, normally I eat dinner around 6.30, but since I've been up since like 6 in the morning and I've only had a bowl of cereal, I think I'll be ready for dinner by like 4.30, 5 o'clock. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble forming thoughts. Mm. So, uh, I've got about four and a half hours left, which means I've done, wait, that means I've done four and a half, that equals nine. So that means I've done five and a half, oh my god, I've done five and a half hours already today, um, but I still got four and a half to go. Uh, and I just want to show you, I talk a lot about um, the, the perils of redrawing things, and you get, especially with Photoshop, you get stuck in that loop of doing it over and over and over again with diminishing results. But sometimes it's worth doing it at least once because you can get objectively better results. And while I'm often in the camp, I don't know why I have these headphones on, I'm often in the camp of being the person that spent an hour to get, you know, slightly better. I just had a moment where I spent, you know, a few minutes and got a much better result, so I figured I'd share that goodness with you. So this is the panel in question, um, and Boots is like yelling to this guy, and it's fine. She's emoting correctly. It's just a little bit more cartoony than I'd prefer, a little bit off model, and, and you know, I struggle with keeping her on model anyway. 
uh, because I try to make her so expressive that sometimes I let it go to get the expression across, but it just, the mouth was a little too big and just the whole thing was just a little bit weird. The, the neck was a little too skinny. So I went ahead and did a quick red and you can see like she's still yelling, but she looks like less crazy cartoony. I give her, you know, a smaller mouth and everything. And then I real quick did an ink over that. Uh, and there's a word balloon here, that's why it's cutting off. So, you know, it's not flawless, and it's as flawed as any of my art, but it's a much better version than I had a minute ago, and it didn't take me that long. But again, the downside is I could have tried to do this and redrawn it 50,000 times and not got it right or not to the point where I put the time in, it would be worth it. But I don't know, this worked out okay is the point. This worked out okay. Uh, I'm gonna, oh, I'm so tired. A little less than three hours to go. It's uh, 2.30. Um, oh, I'm having such a hard time just communicating. Hey, here's words. I'm telling you about art, but yeah, nothing's coming out. I guess I'll just show you. I went with the easy panels first, so just the close-up of two faces, as I showed you when I redid her. Then I did this one. Then I did this background, which, while it has a lot of details, is most, mostly straight lines. And then I started doing this character, and then there's another one here I'll do. And that's where I'm at on page nine. Oh, and I just checked about the whole five pages thing, and yeah, that was not a worry <laughs> that I hit that. I'm probably at about four pages now. I did three pages beginning to end. I'm, well, I had pencils, but inks and grays beginning to end. And when I started, I was on a page that had a panel and a half done that I finished, and now I'm like two and a half panels done on this, so like roughly four pages. Uh, but I'd have to finish this page and then do two more panels to actually hit five pages. And considering I've got less than three hours left, that's not gonna happen. So I am just running out the clock, and that is the, the 40 hour work week goal, is the goal I am uh, planning on hitting now. Well, that's kind of what I was always planning on hitting. You know what I'm saying? Did I mention I'm sick and tired? Well, there, there's that. All right, I got an hour and 35 minutes left to go. It's four o'clock. I'm stopping now because I need to get that print ready to go and drop it off the post office for 4 30 when it closes. And then, as I said, I'm gonna continue from there. It's kind of good though. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do that for a minute. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh. I don't even know if I could sleep, though. That's the thing. It looks like my hair went away because of the dark on dark. Anyway, all right, if I do this, wait, if I put my arms up. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm losing my mind. Point is, I was hitting the wall. I got an hour and 35 minutes left to go. Uh, I finished inking the three panels, and rather than move on to the next one, I just started doing the grayscale stuff, um, which is different than the process I've been building uh, and, and using, utilizing to great effect, but just I, I couldn't manufacture the brain power and the uh, ten tenacity to ink another panel, so graying is a bit easier. So hope is I'm going to go to the post office, go check on the cat, get some early dinner, take a little break, feel refreshed enough to put in that last hour and a half and close out the week of working as a comic professional with success. So, I'm off. Oh, yeah, shouldn't have laid down. Got the print, ready to go. Gonna drop this off. Go check on the cat. I, uh, I brought my Japanese homework, class homework to theoretically do uh, the homework or the studying for next week's class while I check on the cat and feed the cat just to spend some time there. I don't know if I have the mental capacity to do that right now, but I have it with me. Worst case scenario, I'll just play on my phone for a half hour with the cat on my lap. <laughs> and then food. I'm actually pretty hungry. Like I said, it's early for me, but I've been up so long. My whole everything is all askew. Like, even if I wasn't a little sick, it's just like, yeah, getting almost no sleep and then just six o'clock, go. People, it's not normal, it's not right. These are times that shouldn't exist on the calendar or clock. Clock is actually more what it would exist on. You don't see February the 6 a.m., right? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm so rambly. This uh, this video calendar. <laughs> She's nuzzling her head under my hand. Like, what are you doing? Keep going. Good girl. <laughs> As I walk down this corridor, it's like my mind is filled with phlegm and tired. I have uh, taken care of the cat, and I have uh, taken care of the post office. I also picked up some ludents, which are sort of like cough drops, but more like candy. And those are what I like, so I got some of those. And uh, now I'm going to Taco Bell. I sat on their couch for about 20 minutes, and that was probably a mistake, because uh, it just sapped me of my will and energy. Is, this is the most low energy. <laughs> hey, we're doing it. We're succeeding. We're coming to the end. Bah. All right, I'm back at it. I've got a little bit of a second wind. I still don't feel great, but having eaten, uh, taken a break, 
um, even if I was doing other things, just a break from this. And got my Taco Bell, got a gigantic diet Pepsi, so lots of caffeine, which puts me at just subnormal as opposed to way below normal. So anyway, I'm gonna get going back on this page, and and yes. Okay, home stretch time. 24 minutes total left. That means I'm over the eight hours I needed to do today and only have 24 minutes left of overtime that I had been deficited on the other days. Finished up the grayscale and the three panels I had finished and now I'm working on inks on this one. Uh, I'm hoping I'll get this done and that'll be 24 minutes. Pretty much right there is my hope. That's it, 40 hours, done so. I did finish that panel. I didn't get the grays done, but as you can see, uh, it's done. The, the blank part, again, is for lettering, which I continue to come back to being happy that I did that way because every blank area is work I save myself not having to draw it. I did 40 hours. I did an average of eight hours a day. As we saw, it ranged from seven to nine, depending on the day, but an average of eight hours, 40 hours a week, which is a full work week uh, if I was going into a studio or, or whatever, but uh, even more pure than that because having worked in studios or working from home on other things usually if i'm working if i'm working for eight hours you know i'll take a break i'll go to the bathroom i'll talk to somebody i'll check my email and i'm not literally working for eight hours this challenge is literally working for eight hours i turn it off every time i stop working so it's super hardcore like blast processing you know full eight hours um that being said i got did I get five pages done? I think, no, I got four pages. Hold on. That being said, I got four pages done. I got three, like, straight up pages done, and two that if you smush them together equal one page, because that one was missing a few panels, the other one I finished a few panels. Maybe it was four and a half, actually, now that I think about it. It was, it was probably closer to five than four, but regardless, that means I'm taking between eight and ten hours, depending on how you want to do the math, per page that's just for inks and gray tones. It seems like a pretty long time, especially considering all the work I've already put in before I get to this phase, so. Depressing, but uh, exciting that I met the challenge. And as I said, I'm, I'm gonna go now. I will talk to you again in a future this. In a second. Here I am in the future in a second. We try to go around to the right so that we're fighting them.